This is Allium vanale or wild garlic. It's very fluffy. I mean, not fluffy. Stringy, hairy. String. Hey, I bet with enough of that, you can make. It looks very food. delicate. You can make a mannequin. You could kind of see it from a distance growing when it grows in your lawn or in the wild. When it first starts coming up, it's so pretty and looks very dainty and delicate. But let's see here. I'm trying to find a big one. Here's a big one. Okay, so to see this, let's see. Uh, focus. Here you go. You can see the little ridges on it. Right? There we go. Um, and these round leaves and they are hollow inside. So, uh, maybe we could get it like this. Be hollow. There you go. Can you use it like a straw. <laughs> so okay, let's see if we um, could get a little bulb out. Do you think you could dig this out? Maybe. Go on. Let's see if you could do it. Now be careful because we don't want to cut off the bulb, which is what we're trying to get to. If you pull it, the bulb will break off. It'd be stuck down there? Yep. And we'll probably never find it. You gotta kind of dig away slowly. I know that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Leave the dirt near the plant so you can put it back in there. Hey, we still have. I still have a ton of dirt that I've dug enough. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if we. No, can you it. just put it right here, right here next to the plant? Don't throw it away. Don't pull it. I know, I'm just clearing up the door around it. All right. Just sit down for this. Hmm. You've already had them, no? No. Mm, what you had? Oh, we're starting to see some of the root. Yeah, there you go. Stuff's starting to pop up. A little more and I think you'll get to it. Maybe if you could press it down harder. Let's see. Cool. Yeah. So it's a little bulb. It's so tiny because they're not so really ready yet. They should not be picked so now, ready. but we're doing it anyway. Yeah. I should yell though. But we're just gonna we actually use these in our food. I cut them up into little teeny pieces. I wash them, I cut them up into tiny little pieces and then I freeze them. And have them ready for like mash on top of mashed potatoes or baked potatoes or use them in soups. Oh, we're bringing it up. They are. I think I'm breaking it. Very good. And it's, I I mean, it's it? free food. I think I broke it. Mm, hopefully not. Keep digging. Dig a little more. I don't think so. I think it's fine like that. Let's see. Try to get under it. You're rubbing on it. Try to get under it. Oh, there's... Oh, no, no. Go ahead up here. Here, let me get it. I'll hold the... I'll hold the... Okay. There you go. All this to get it out in one piece. Wait. Yeah. And we never worry about the bulbs because the bulbs will actually... Oh, this shovel is... Can you move your hand, please? I don't want to cut it with the shovel. Okay, so that worked. Here we go. Just clear off the dirt. Yeah. Dirt. And these will get bigger as the plant gets bigger. Here's a good one, a good sized. One, they don't get too big. That's, you know, about it right there. 
<laughs> they get a little bigger than that, but there we go. So, noish. I'm gonna take this in and wash it off so you can see it good. And see how pretty and stringy that is. It's hair. It looks like green hair. <laughs> As you can see, it has leaves branching off of this, but they're hollow inside. Save those, and then I cut these very small. We freeze them. I'm not showing anything, am I? It's so good. Spicy, like garlic. It tastes more oniony than garlic to me. It's really good. I some. It almost has like a little sweetness to it too. That's good. You can eat the whole thing. It's just stringy. You could boil them to soften them up, and then just eat it like a green. Or you can eat it like this. This works too. Okay.